Good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in to Think Tech. I'm your host, Attila Saras, and on our weekly show, Next Big Thing, we look for people who are doing interesting, important, and innovative things and give them a place to share it with the world. This week, we have Dr. Doug Hagigi. He's a uh, Harvard dentist and a trained gastroenterologist in uh, Alaska, and he's joining us via Skype to talk about his new product, Gutsy Hello. Chew. And uh, hi, thanks for joining us. I think we have a little bit of a delay, but uh, your product, Gutsy Chew, is uh, it's a little bit different in terms of uh, something that can ease uh, stomach uh, ailments, but uh, it's a natural product, and it's a little bit different than what we've seen on the shelves so far. Now, I've seen a I lot of commercials. I've seen a lot of commercials for, uh, for uh, different competing products, and uh, you know this one uh, is a little bit different. So I think we're having some uh, audio trouble. Can you hear me, Dr. Doug? Oh, I can hear you. I got you now. All right, perfect. So uh, yeah. thanks for joining us from Alaska, and um, why don't you tell me a little bit about this product? Uh, and, went uh, out again. Well, uh, good thing you're, uh, you're not an ear, nose, and throat doctor. So, but. <laughs> Uh, I, I can definitely hear you, so why don't you tell me uh, the story of the product and how you came up with it. So I, I think you asked, uh, you know, the story of Gutsy. Um, you know, I'm a gastroenterologist now, I was a former dentist, um, and I, I have an adage in life, you, you don't have to be sick to get better, and I kept hearing from patients that uh, certain products, natural remedies, helped heartburn. And I said, you know, there had to be Oh. oh, we seem to be having an internet connection problem Girl, here. Like oh, can you hear me now? Uh, there you are. You're back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's part of being a global show. Sometimes the internet cuts out. Well, you were, you were saying how uh, there were some natural products that seemed to uh, do the trick a little bit better than some of the over-the-counter stuff. I think he agrees with me. <laughs> Well, let's try to reconnect via Skype. But in the meanwhile, uh, you know, I'm going to read you a little bit about what his product is all about, and you know, we can see what we can uh, see if we can reconnect in the meanwhile. Oh, there we go. Looks like uh, it's uh, it's coming online there. But uh, you know, part of uh, you know, I, I know me personally. You know, I, I'm a big fan of that product, Airborne. I'm sure many of you are too. It's that thing that comes in the tube, and you put it in a glass of water, and kind of fizzes up. Well, I like those kind of things. So. Uh, you know, I get really excited about uh, herbal remedies, you know, and in general, I, I believe in our society, we're, we're kind of, uh, you know, we're kind of a subject of packaging. Uh, I'll give you a perfect example. Have you ever been to, uh, say, a Costco or a Sam's Club and seen those, those giant uh, jugs of lemonade, you know, the instant stuff? So you take that powder, right, and you pour it inside of a, of a jug of water, and then you mix it up, and then you have lemonade, right? Well. Did you know that you can actually make lemonade with lemon juice, sugar, and water, and just put it together? It's the same action. It's the same everything. But I think as a society, we've been kind of, uh, you know, conditioned to want the uh, prepackaged, pre-processed thing, and then and then go through the same motion in creating it, or same amount of energy creating it as it would normally take uh, to make the original product that it was based on. So why not make lemonade? And I, I believe that uh, the Gutsy Chew product may be the right uh, fit for something like this. But, uh, you know, we're going to go to a quick break here, and uh, we're going to see if we can reconnect with Dr. Doug and talk more about his product. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break. Hello, I'm Martin Despang, and I'm the host together with the one and only Ali Amashta, and our show is called Urban Transcendence. And Urban Transcendence is about identifying where we have a unique situation of a vibrant city in one of the most beautiful natural environments. So how these two can coincide, sometimes conflict, how they could find reciprocity in the 21st century is what we're excited about. And we're planning on bringing in uh, a diverse body of, of guests, both from the arts and the science and the established and the wise and the emerging generation. So hope you will join us. We'll always be on on Thursdays from 1 to 2 p.m. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm, I'm Jake Fidel. That's Sharon Moriwaki of the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum. 
And every Wednesday, we have Hawaii, the state of clean energy. We've been doing it for some time now, and we have some fantastic guests on there, unbelievable guests who give us insight into what is going on in a very complex, sometimes very confusing, sometimes very disappointing <laughs> area of, of progress in the state. So we love doing this. We love meeting them. We love talking to them. We love having their ideas out on the table. So maybe, just maybe, we can all make some sense of what's going on. Sharon, what do you think? I think that's absolutely correct. We enjoy, we enjoy ourselves meeting with all these people <laughs> and hearing about the energy and the state of clean energy and hopefully we advance clean energy for the state. So it's terrific. Join us. Okay, it's every Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday is Energy Day. Every energy Wednesday, Wednesday, 4 to 5 p.m. Hawaii, the state of clean energy here on Think Tech Hawaii. Energy we'll Wednesday. see you there. Hi, my name is Dr. Rafi. Every week, I'm right here at Think Tech Hawaii, 3 p.m. on Mondays. My show is Boards' Bio Briefings. What do we do here? Well, we watch sperm swim. We see if they catch anybody. We check out the latest biosimilars. You know, the kind that, uh, what was his name, the guy with the bicycle? Uh, I guess we forgot his name, but he was taking EPO and other human growth factors. We'll be talking about human growth factors. You want to know where to get some? Maybe I'll tell. Anyway, you can catch me, as I said, every week right here, Monday, 3 p.m., Think Tech Hawaii, Dr. Rafi. You can also find me on Twitter, BioInfo Medical. Or you can catch me on Facebook, Dr. Rafael Boritzer. I'll be happy to converse with you. Aloha. Hi. I'm Jay Fidel. That's Sharon Moriwaki of the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum. And every Wednesday, we have Hawaii, the state of clean energy. We've been doing it for some time now, and we have some fantastic guests on there, unbelievable guests who give us insight into what is going on in a very complex, sometimes very confusing, sometimes very disappointing <laughs> area of, of progress in the state. So we love doing this. We love meeting them. We love talking to them. We love having their ideas out on the table. So maybe, just maybe, we can all make some sense of what's going on. Sharon, what do you think? Thing. I think that's absolutely correct. We enjoy, we enjoy ourselves meeting with all these people <laughs> and hearing about the energy and the state of clean energy and hopefully we advance clean energy for the state. So it's terrific. Join us. Okay, it's us. every Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday is Energy Day. Every energy Wednesday, Wednesday. 4 to 5 p.m. Hawaii, the state of clean energy here on Think Tech Hawaii. Energy we'll Wednesday. see you there. On our show, Next Big Thing, we give people who are doing interesting, important, and innovative things a place to share them with the world. Thank you so much for tuning in live, and of course, thank you for watching our videos on YouTube. Uh, with us today is Dr. Doug Hagigi, and we're talking about his new product called Gutsy Chew. Gutsy Chew is a natural product that uh, appears to solve uh, digestive problems without having to go through a really extraneous process. So. Uh, He's with us live, and he's with us uh, from Alaska. Uh, we were earlier trying to get in touch with him, but I guess he was too close to the Russian border, and you know the internet cut out. So thanks for coming back online, Dr. Doug. And uh, why don't you tell us the story of this product and uh, what inspired you to make it? Well, you know, I have an adage: you don't have to be sick to get better. And I try to incorporate this in my life, in my practice. I'm a gastroenterologist, former dentist. Um, I kept hearing from patients that certain natural remedies helped heartburn and digestion, sour stomach and so forth. So I said there had to be something to this. We did a fair amount of research. I came up with a proprietary formula of apple cider vinegar, licorice root and papaya. And uh, I wanted to put science behind it because there's not a lot out there in the natural realm that has science behind it. We did a double blind placebo controlled trial with our proprietary formula and had positive results for decreasing heartburn and a trend towards decreasing nausea and abdominal pain. Now, as I mentioned, I'm a former dentist and I had to be true to my dental roots. So we added xylitol to help decrease uh, tooth decay and optimize oral health. We've also added calcium and magnesium. So at the end of the day, you have an oral and digestive supplement that uh, knocks down that queasy, uneasy, after eating feeling, uh, along with gut, uh, what I call gut burn and gut bloat. Hmm. Now uh, that sounds great, uh, but uh, you know, I've, I've had a pregnant wife with a couple of kids before and 
I'll tell you, you know, there's uh, there's special drugs out there to also make uh, your stomach feel better when you're uh, when you're going through that. And uh, you know, can this be used for uh, cancer patients or cancer treatment or or uh, anyone who's going through a pregnancy who's who's having to deal with nausea or upset stomach? So so speaking to the the cancer patients, certainly uh, with regard to pregnancy, that's one that we really have, we defer to the primary uh, obstetrician um, just because I wanted to put science behind it and we really couldn't um, do a double line controlled trial with a pregnant woman. So we defer to the obstetrician there. Um, and, and the key here, I, I think in, in, in generally in medicine, is trying to achieve the maximal therapeutic event uh, 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 effect with the minimal amount of intervention. And in some people that may be taking the more traditional what are called proton pump inhibitors, which have several side effects. It may be taking over the counter medications or a natural remedy. And what we've developed here is something that is all natural, it has no preservatives, and it has a nice effect. I hear the word natural quite a bit. Why don't you tell me what's the difference between a natural product and something that's uh, an over the counter or packaged product that you'd find at your drugstore? So, so great question. So if you went to Walgreens, for example, I've been on Hawaii, there's, you know, different drugstores and so forth. And if you look on the back of a Tums, for example, there's aluminum, other preservatives, uh, other uh, uh, artificial coloring. Uh, Gutsy Chewy is all natural. Um, and we've gone through rigorous, rigorous trials to make sure that this is the case because that's what I, I kept hearing uh, as a buzzword from my patients. We wanted something uh, that uh, came from the earth, was green, and uh, did the right thing. And well, uh, that's what we've achieved. Well, why would a, uh, a manufacturer put something like uh, aluminum into their product? Uh, I mean, that, that, you know, that by definition, wouldn't that cause some problems for people? Well, you know, it, it, you can't um, single out this product versus that product with regard to certain small ingredients, but y you don't know the, the long-term effect of things. Um, you know, plastic bottles, you know, there's been data out on, on long-term use of, of different things, but the goal was to keep this, pro uh, this product clean, and, and that's what Gutsy Products offers, a clean, natural product uh, to achieve a, a nice therapeutic effect, again, what we call decreasing gut burn and gut bloat. Now, do you have one there? Maybe we can, you can hold up to the camera that we can see. Um, you know what? If you just hold on one second, I have one right, yep, okay, right here. Okay, great, yeah. Now, uh, wow, look at that. It, if, if you're familiar with the Airborne... It's, I'm um, a big it's, fan it, of Airborne, I'll tell you. <laughs> um, it's the same manufacturer, um, and it comes in a tube case. It's not an effervescent. Uh, it's a chewable, and we have two flavors, wild berry and citrus. Um, and, you know, another goal here was to, to get a tasting where, where people would have a, a you know, enjoy uh, taking them. And, and I, I think for the most part, when people have taken them, we've had very good feedback with regard to taste. And that's, that's obviously very important, as I mentioned. Now, uh, there's, a, there's some other interactions that maybe you want to talk about. Uh, uh, you were talking about uh, enhancing the body's natural defense mechanism. Now, so, uh, you, let, let's oh, talk about this versus other products because I've seen a lot of products on uh, on television uh, that uh, you know that advertise uh, you know they have some big name stars and they advertise a lot of the, or they have a lot of the same claims that that you do here and obviously a natural remedy and uh, uh, you know when you're sick and you're not feeling good sometimes you don't care so much if it's a natural remedy or not so right. let's talk about those differences so um, you know the so-called proton pump inhibitors the uh, prior sex the next of the world are the most commonly prescribed medications for heartburn ingestion. Um, they've been out for 25 years. I prescribe them, you know, frequently as a gastroenterologist, only when they're indicated. Uh, the, classically, they've got some side effects of, heart, of uh, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and headache. However, over the last couple of years, it's come uh, to light that they decrease calcium and magnesium absorption, as well as B12 uh, absorption as well. Uh, that these can lead to very serious medical problems. Um, they've also been associated with pneumonias uh, as well as a certain clostridium type di uh, difficile diarrhea. So um, what I'm getting at is that my product in particular, when you juxtapose to these, has very minimal side effects. The proprietary formula, we've had toxicologists look at this and um, it is well accepted, well within the range of, of, of safety. Now, um, 
why don't you tell me about the history of some of this stuff? Because uh, if I remember right, I, I read something about uh, how we didn't really have any sort of medications or anything that addresses heartburn needs until maybe about 20 years ago. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, what did people do before then? Why did this come about? Were you part of that revolution? Well, I, I'm not that old, until I must say, um, although my hairline would suggest that. But uh, to, be, to be honest with you, the beauty of our proprietary formula compared to what's been out lately is that really nobody knows the exact mechanism. I mean, for example, apple cider vinegar is acidic, but it actually helps with uh, decreasing heartburn and bloating and so forth. Papaya, again, it, it's, if you look at through the centuries what it's done, everybody knows it can help with digestive health or making you feel better, but nobody knows the exact mechanism, as is the case with liquor or shoot. People say it has a nice soothing effect on the gastrointestinal tract. However, we're not quite sure exactly what it does. We know that it works. And again, that was the genesis to this idea. I kept hearing from patients certain things worked, and that's what led to the idea. Uh, well, um, well, so well, my question is, since you're in Alaska, where do you get papayas from there? Do they grow on trees <laughs> in, the, in the snow? Well, no. Um, we, like I said, we, we, um, I'd like to say that the product's made in America. Uh, and it's made in Minnesota, and it's shipped out of Kansas City. Um, but, yeah, there's no papayas here in um, Alaska, unfortunately. No, no. Now, why are you in Alaska, if, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I'm originally from Ohio. I, I trained at Harvard Dental School. I was going to be an oral surgeon. I finished up my medical degree at Case Western Reserve University. Uh, I boarded in, in internal medicine. I then went to the Cleveland Clinic uh, and subspecialized in gastroenterology. I served as chief fellow there in 2005 and, and um, 2004, 2005. I was in private practice and uh, to be honest, me and my wife, uh, we uh, we're looking around. We saw a nice opportunity here in Alaska, and the rest is history. Oh, what was that opportunity in Alaska? Well, we were looking for um, uh, another job. I uh, was just looking around, and uh, a friends of a friend said, "Hey, they, they were this a particular group in Alaska was looking for a gastroenterologist." We flew up here. Uh, we fell in love with the place, and um, uh, like I said, I've been practicing here now almost seven years. Wow, so uh, are you planning on staying in Alaska, or as this product takes off, uh, you're going to have to go on a road show to promote it? Well, I will certainly, I do travel for it, that's for sure, but I tell you, Alaska, when it, once it gets in your blood, it it's, it's, uh, certainly stays with you. Like we do head uh, to our sister state of Hawaii every Thanksgiving, and, and maybe in the winter, because that's about a five-hour flight, and that, that's one of my favorite flights. But I tell you what, I'm a, I think I'm an Alaskan right now. You're in Alaska, and you're likely to stay there. Well, um, so what is the, uh, you know, how do people get this product? How do they get this so, Gutsy Chew product? So um, the best place to get it is online at gutsyproducts.com. You can also follow us on uh, uh, Twitter at, at Gutsy Products and on Facebook, and we, we frequently update these sites with news and notes concerning digestive health pretty regularly, and it's a very nice follow what I uh, at Gutsy Products, um, you know, news and notes, and anytime I find something interesting or um, uh, I think that will enhance digestive health, I, I try to get it out there. Um, and we do this, like I said, pretty frequently. But gutsyproducts.com is the best place to go to um, look at our product. You can see more about our story. And uh, uh, like I said, we, we frequently update uh, the website, the Facebook, and the Twitter page with interesting news and notes about digestive disease. Wow, that's very interesting. So, gutsyproducts.com is the website. Your Twitter mm -hmm. handle is at gutsyproducts. And, at gutsyproducts. Uh, and uh, should we be expecting this product to uh, be in a major retailer sometime soon? You know, we're always talking to folks. Uh, you know, what I like to say is do the Gutsy Challenge. If there's something, um, if you go to Cheeseburgers in Paradise, they're in Honolulu, have a big old cheeseburger and it gives you a little bit of indigestion afterwards, take one of these. It will work. It will work. Within, we, in our study, about 15 to 20 minutes, people felt great. And I, I, like I say, I wouldn't be selling it if I wasn't putting my name behind it if I didn't think it worked. And, and I, I just tell folks, do the gutsy challenge. 
try something and then pop one of these things, you'll, you'll feel, you get rid of that after eating gut burn and gut bloat and you get gut good. Well, and uh, you know, if we're in Alaska, we can always take the challenge after eating one of those big Alaskan crabs, right? Oh, well, yes, that's wonderful with little little melted butter. Absolutely. A lot Absolutely. of melted butter. Oh, that's some good stuff. All right, we get some crustaceans yes, in our system. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, really, uh, that's really it. I mean, that's the most important thing, right? You can go out and eat whatever you like. Just have the right uh, tools in your belt so that you can uh, keep on functioning oh, afterwards. And, 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 and that, that, that being said, I, I, I always preach because one of the biggest problems from a uh, uh, public health standpoint point we have is one of being overweight and obesity and, and actually a primary lifestyle modification to prevent indigestion and reflux is is losing weight and I, I often reinforce this to my patients because that's a very very that's one of the uh, only life um, scientifically proven lifestyle modifications is losing weight to help with reflux and and as you know our society as a whole is getting a little plumper well how about uh, you know waiting a few hours after you eat and then going to bed I know a lot of people they they get home late, they scarf down some dinner at 9 o'clock and go to bed at 10. Is that good for you? Hello? Yeah, I think we lost you there. Well, that's all right. No, uh, you got me? Just, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll wrap up the show. Uh, so for more information, go uh, go to gutsyproducts.com. And, uh, of course, if you want to get in touch with Dr. Doug, all his contact information is there. Thank you, Doug, for, cho uh, for joining us here on ThinkTech. And uh, stay warm there in Alaska. And... Uh, have some gutsy chew there. And uh, of course, we're going to have more uh, next big thing right after this break. And stay tuned. Aloha.